Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So I've been posting about the new outlook for Windows now for a good couple of months. And yesterday, on the 21st of September, Microsoft has announced now, and as we can see, that the new outlook for Windows is now available for personal accounts through the Microsoft Store if you are running Windows 11. So like I did earlier today, I hopped over to the Microsoft Store and it's now available to the general public, still in preview. But you can download the new Outlook for Windows from the Microsoft Store now without having to be uh, in any insider program, as an example. And uh, the app is also going to be rolling out with the soon-to-be-released feature update starting officially, as I posted earlier today, for Windows 11 to start rolling out next week, Tuesday the 26th. Now, just a quick overview as to what the new Outlook uh, is all about. Um, Apparently, it's for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. And uh, Microsoft says it's designed to help you easily connect and coordinate with your various email accounts and calendars in one place. And as you can see, uh, it acts very and looks very similar to a web app, a progressive web app or Outlook Online, as I have mentioned previously. Now, something else to take note of is that the new Outlook will be pre-installed on new PCs that have the Windows 11 23H2 feature update installed. That's also known now as the update to 22H2 and not 23H2 as I did post earlier today, but I'm just going to use 23H2 for the purpose of this video. So um, it will become pre-installed on new Windows PCs that have the Windows 11 23H2 version installed, as well as uh, PCs that will upgrade to 23H2 starting next week as mentioned. Now, if you are still using the Mail and Calendar apps for Windows 10, um, as mentioned, the new Outlook will eventually replace the Mail and Calendar apps. And uh, if you are using those, you'll see a, a toggle here in the right-hand corner of Mail, as an example, to try out the new Outlook, um, which is obviously available now. And the Mail and Calendar apps will eventually be replaced completely with the new Outlook for Windows app, as mentioned. Now, just to go through some of the kind of improvements and key highlights of the new Outlook just for the purpose of this video. Uh, you'll have your email and calendar in one app. So you get your uh, your calendar and obviously your email will all be bundled into one app. You'll be able to write uh, emails with AI. So AI has been bundled uh, into the new Outlook for Windows, obviously helping you to um, set up and generate those emails if you uh, so wish. And you can also connect to your different Microsoft 365 apps like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneDrive, and so on. Those are found here to the left-hand side uh, in that little left-hand menu, as many of you may know. And there's also a whole lot of different tools to keep you organized. And something else to take note of, you can customize your inbox. So there's a lot of different options available if we head to settings for you to be able to customize your inbox. And you can choose basically from over 50 themes and 150 plus fonts. And you can also customize how many emails you want to see in your inbox with roomy, cozy, and compact view options. So that's just a brief overview of uh, the new Outlook for Windows, as mentioned. Now officially available from the Microsoft Store, and that should start rolling out shortly uh, with the 23H2 feature update and will eventually replace, as I have posted previously, the mail and calendar apps. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.